Hello and welcome back to our Tears of the Kingdom playthrough and it is boss fight time. All right, here we go. Huh? It opened. We got to smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda. All right, what do we got this time? Here I go. We got to shoot him up there. Wait, maybe I don't want to be where things are going to land in the center of the room. That seems like a bad idea. Well, Goma's back. Link, we've got a saver, Goro. I mean, makes sense. They brought back Gleok. They might as well bring back Goma. At this point, I'm surprised we haven't run into Aquamentis or Mantandala. All right, so how do we fight this guy? It seems like we shoot Yanobo at its legs. got to watch out for all the explosions. Here I go. This almost seems easier than the last two bosses so far. Okay, so if we hit it twice in the legs, it falls down, and then we can smash it in the eyeball. Because Goma's only ever had one weak spot. Usually you had to hit Goma in the eye with the bow. An arrow to the eye used to be the secret. Okay, one more leg. Problem is those rocks just get in the way. This thing doesn't take a lot of damage. We're using a pretty powerful weapon on it, too. There are weapons like four, level 40 damage, and <clears throat> it's kind of just laughing at it. I wouldn't want to come in here with weak weapons. You'd be doing this all day. Okay, hopefully we can get it into whatever its second phase is going to be. So let's face it, they all have a second phase in this game. Look out. 
Okay. We gotta shoot it off the roof somehow. He goes right under it somehow. I can do it. Have to be very precise hitting the legs because it'll, you'll still miss all of them and go right past it. Now's our chance, Goro. Got it. Well, the first phase took about three rounds, so I'm guessing we've got to knock this thing off the roof about three separate times just to kill it. to avoid taking damage just takes a while to hit it enough times you got to be persistent with this fight I think we got it. This should finish the fight. Nice, we got it. Goma went nuclear. That was pretty fun for a Goma fight, actually. Now to collect our heart container and watch the same cutscene we've already seen twice. This will just be the Goron edition of it.
I've heard that voice. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior, and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. Let me tell you about the imprisoning war and the duty of our people. Many years ago, in the Kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days, a great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. And to fight the Demon King, Rauru trusted us with secret stones. Incredible artifacts that amplified our powers. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the Demon King. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. That was the imprisoning war. And then some time later, the Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. The magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. Yonobo, Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman. Link. So, it's my duty to help you fight? Hmm. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. But then, 
If I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. your fist fist bump hmm. we got the firestone you can count on the sage of fire i'll fight by your side till the very end and take this it's proof i stand with you power anytime, Goro. I promise I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. <laughs> I can hardly believe you making me worry like that. I ought to... Please don't be mad at President Yanobo. Oh. It's okay, Slurgo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things after all. If I had just been more careful... <laughs> you said you'd put Goron City back to normal, and you did. You're the hero of Goron City. You were when you made Yanobo Ko, and you still are now. Huh. Thank you, Goro. Oh. And we have to thank you too, Link. You got rid of the marbled rock roast, and smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Huh. Uh, no, I can't even think about it. Ooh. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? Oh. Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. It was all so strange. 
Now that I think about it, it seemed like she was walking toward that giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. President Yonobo, do you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? Ah. Like maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda? Huh? No way. Hang on, come to think of it, the person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time, she said she wanted to help the swordsman, Link. Now I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. But wherever the case, that means Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. And that imposter is making a bad name for our Princess Zelda. We gotta find him and pummel him, Goro. I'll ask my guys at Yanobo Co. to search the area around the city for any leads on the princess. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Link. You can count on me. The enthusiasm's great and all, but let's not go digging up any more weird rocks. You got that, President Yonobo? Alright, well that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and come see where we go next in our next video of Tears of the Kingdom. Bye for now.